Welcome to Fishing with Steve D. Well in this video we're going to be talking about advanced baits and baits you don't often hear about and we're starting right now. In this video we're going to talk about advanced baits and baits that you don't often hear about uh, for red claw yabby fishing in Queensland. Choosing different bait types um, during the year and certain times of the year can affect the amount of red claw yabbies that you catch. In this red claw yabby advanced bait video we will dive deeper into different types of bait and different times a year uh, for your best results. So do you often wonder why others are catching a lot more red claw yabbies and you are not? Well it could be a simple thing as choosing a different bait or using a different a uh, few different types of baits mixed in all together. Now we're going to be diving into that in this video um, and we're going to be looking about different ways how you can rig your baits and uh, so I hope you really like this different uh, video um, that is a video with a bit of difference so um, any comments or any questions put it in the comments below and I'll endeavor to answer them uh, accordingly now this very first tip I would like to get out of the way nice and early and that is when the waters come up and the flooding rains come uh, the best bait to go for is the freshwater fish flesh by far so try that guys and it'll work really well now you can mix that with other baits um, but it's very very important that when the flooding rains come fish flesh is simply outstanding and here is a bait with a bit of difference this is ox heart uh, another good bait is ox liver now you don't often hear about this but this is tip and bait number two um, worth a try um, it catches a lot of red claw the red claw absolutely love this bait now tip number three is go to the supermarket and buy the corn cob bags. The small cobs of corn are simply outstanding bait for red claw. I've had a customer recently and he swears by it. He catches hundreds of red claw by using corn cob bought from the supermarket. Now tip number four is the good old faithful dried dog biscuits or in this case dried cat biscuits. Now if you go to the supermarket there are different flavours. Uh, the, one of the most outstanding flavours is the second uh, bag here of seafood because it has uh, meat content mixed in with prawn flavour. And I know a angler that also puts in tuna oil, um, he mixes the dried cat biscuits with tuna oil and he has outstanding results in southeast Queensland on the Red Claw Yabbies. Now tip number five is to make bait bags out of shade cloth is a very productive way to catch a lot more Red Claw. It re allows a slower release through the shade cloth holes and one of my customers uh, says that he, this works really really well for him he catches a lot more red claw using the shade cloth um, bought from the hardware and they're easy to sew up and um, yeah so very interesting uh, different point is to use shade cloth bait bags with a slow release and for those of you who don't want to muck around with sewing and uh, borrowing the missus uh, sewing thread and needles and machine and so forth, I've got another option for you. These uh, are bigger bait bottles that are coming. Uh, these can also be used for shrimp traps um, if you just cut a hole in the end uh, or you can use them for bigger bait bottles. So the more bait that you put in your uh, red claw yabby traps um, the more red claw you're going to catch. So having a bigger uh, bait bottle like these uh, these are coming and they'll be here very shortly in April and uh, you'll be able to use them quite effectively to catch more red claw yabbies. And tip number seven is a very unusual bait you don't often hear a lot about this but it's starting to get popular They're catching a lot of red claw yabbies with the standard old eye inches. They cut them in half, they put them in the bait traps and they are catching a lot of red claw currently is one of the hottest baits up at Bernouma Dam. So tip number eight is a very very uh, productive red claw yabby bait and that is the overripe pumpkin. Now the more overripe you leave it, the more smelly it is, the better and the more red claw you are going to catch. And if you also have a look in this video, you'll see there's a corn cob that I mentioned earlier. 
And bait number nine is the good old mango. The mango cut in slices um, is a very, very productive bait for catching red claw yabbies and brings a very, very good results indeed. And best bait number 10, the good old cheese. Now you can just use the t cheese in the supermarket. It is very, very effective for catching red claw yabbies. Now, best bait number 11 is the sardine tins. Just put, put your holes in the tin and throw it in the Red Claw Yabby pot and away you go. They absolutely love sardines. And best bait number 12 is the good old zucchini. Uh, the Red Claw Yabbies are vegetarian um, and they absolutely love the zucchini and that will catch a lot of Red Claw Yabbies. And the uh, Red Claw Yabbies are scavengers also. I can tell you from experience, they love meat. So in this uh, video here, Devon is very good, but any other meat, they absolutely love as well. Best bait number 14 for Red Claw Yabbies is the tin wet cat food. Now just be careful turtles, because it'll bring turtles in from miles away. Um, but if that happens, you just change to another bait. Tin wet cat food will also bring out the bigger red claw as well. Now a bait you don't hear very often about is the bananas. Now you know what they say about bananas when you go fishing, it's bad luck. But I think it might be good luck for red claw yabby fishing. What do you think guys? Best bait number 16 for red claw yabbies is the rock melon. Now rock melon can be a bit of hit and miss. One trip it can be really, really productive. The next trip it could be a real dud. Best bait number 17 and a bit different is the old spud. Unwashed, uncooked. A lot of anglers are actually just putting it in the pots and they're catching a lot of red claw yabbies. Best bait number 18 and you don't hear very often about this one but it does really 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 well on catching red claw yabbies and that is the standard old apple. The apple is very uh, sweet and very nice to the red claw and they just absolutely love it. And best bait number 19. Now a few of you guys might have heard of this already, but watermelon skins is really, really good bait for red claw yabbies. Now before we reveal uh, the next top bait for the red claw yabbies, let's have a look at uh, some ways that you can put the bait in your pots. And here are the clear, slow release bait bottles. Now these are really good if you're going away for three days. Um, you put three quarters of the biscuits in there and you allow for the water to swell it up and it's a very slow release. These work really well when you put two of these in each pot. Now these are the clip-in bait containers. So the blue locking washer clips in through the mesh and clips it in stationary. Really good for cheese and fruit um, and vegetables. But uh, a little tip that one of our anglers has worked out, you can actually cable tie these in because you want the red claw to push it around. The more the red claw push the bottles around and that releases a lot more burly and you'll catch a lot more red claw. But if you want something super sized so you catch a lot more red claw with more burly and more bait, we'll have a look at these bait bottles uh, that are coming. Just let, send me an email and I'll be able to help you out. Or if you want a cheaper option with your vegetables and fruit, have a look at these uh, bait bags. They're about $7 each and they're another good option. Okay, without further ado, let's have a look and jump into probably the best bait for red claw yabbies when you're fishing up here in Queensland. And uh, we're going to jump right into that right now. Now guys, if you want to have a copy of all these advanced baits, I'm actually doing a ebook for advanced baits for Red Claw Yabbies. So if you want some of those, also send me an email and uh, we will be able to help you out. So the best bait, number 20, and probably the best bait out of uh, all these is the um, sweet potato that is half cooked or par cooked they say and uh, the Red Claw Yabbies absolutely love the sweet potatoes. There's a something about the sweet potatoes that catches so many Red Claw Yabbies. Well how about all those tips on different baits and the best baits for Red Claw Yabby fishing in Queensland. 
Uh, now please do me a huge favor and smash that like button and please subscribe to my channel guys. We look forward to bringing you more video content very shortly. Until then, stay safe. This is Fisherman Steve D signing off. God bless.